Hello everyone, my name is Gizem and I'm based on Side Instrument in the office. In this video, I would like to talk about how to select a point cloud over a CAT boundary. This is a sample row project collected with MX9. You see plan view, which is 2D. If you go to home and hit on 3D view, there will be a new page that you can rotate and display more details about your data set. If you click right and say new vertical horizontal group, you can follow up side by side. If you have a fairly large data set, you would like to clip and process piece by piece. You can go to import first and bring your TWG or DXF data. Just to go to import folder, browse and select your folders. Hit OK and you will display all the files under that folder can get your DWG or DXDAV files and import in TBC project. The second way, which is probably easier for you, just drag and drop the DXDAV file in the graphic view directly. After you finish import process, close the menu. And you see that the data is actually divided piece by piece. What we can do is just go to Command Pane, select Point Cloud by Boundary feature, select the boundary, and get entire data under that boundary. There are two requirements for doing this. First, you need to look from plan view. Be sure that you don't look from 3D. Close that view. The second requirement is be sure that you have selected polygon select. And then the command pane will locate on quick access toolbar or home menu under view. If you hit command pane, you can see all the comments in the list and find it or go to the box, search box, and start typing select point cloud by boundary. Hit enter. After finish that, you need to pick the boundary that you are interested in. Whenever you pick this boundary, it will be selected all the point clouds inside of this boundary, but the, um, the all objects in the Z axis will be selected. So if you click this boundary, you will see that when you switch a 3D view, you will see that entire point cloud is selected under this boundary. After you make the selection, close this menu, go to export. Under point cloud section, you can pick E57, LAS, LAZ, whichever your preference. Rename your data. can pick a folder save it be sure that you just check out all the settings under this menu so i will select the format 1.4 and my export unit will be set as meters and scaling is great so you can switch to us survey food for export unit, you can also switch to ground. And after you finish settings, hit export, and your LAS file will be exported.
it may take a couple seconds or up to a couple minutes according to your um, computer speed. After you finish the export, you can either close uh, the TBC project or go to new from file and select the template, the metric. Say yes and create a new TBC project. If you look at the folder, you will see that the LAS file has been exported from our previous TBC project. What you can do is just drag and drop and say OK. Your small portion will be imported into the new project. After import is completed, you will be asked, asked for project projection definition. Said OK. And here we go. Your small portion has been imported into another TBC project properly. Thank you for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at cinergeo.com and follow us from all social media platforms.